everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new today's video is going to be another shop my stash video it's actually been a while since i've posted one of these i haven't actually had a shop my stash rotation in a while because i had done a three-part chopping block series and at this time i've posted two of those but i've actually been testing and using those products for a while now and so I feel like I've gotten a pretty good idea and I've already gone through as to what I want to keep. So our Shop My Stash little bin is empty again so now we actually have a room and a spot to put what I want to use as my Shop My Stash products. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. I'm actually really excited because this is going to be my first time to use this acrylic set for a Shop My Stash rotation because I have been using it for my chopping block products. So I usually just like to go in order of like face products and then eyes. Um, I'm going to try and limit it to only two products in a single category because I feel like I oftentimes want to pick like my whole collection. <laughs> um, and that's not really the point of the shop my stash. So I'm really going to try and kind of limit it to what I've been, you know, wanting to reach for. So for an SPF, I'm going to pull in the Super Goop Glow Screen. This is actually the only SPF I've got right now. I really want to pick up the Kopari one again, but I want to go and use this one up first. So that'll be my SPF. And then for primer, I have actually been reaching for this one a ton. This is the Wet n Wild Glass Correct, and I've just been really enjoying it. So I definitely want to pull this one in. This is a nice, like, you know, glowy or dewy option. So I actually feel like this might be the only primer that I pull in for this rotation because the Super Goop sunscreen works as a really good primer on its own anyways. I do want to pull in the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter because I really need to use this. I just honestly want to use it up and move it out of my collection because I just don't use it enough and I'm kind of tired of it being in my collection to be honest. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that in. And then for setting spray, I think I'm going to pull this one in. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter. I just really need to use this up. I've had it in my collection for a really long time. This travel size bottle has been refilled a ton. So there's no telling like how many times I've actually used this bottle, but it's just kind of like needs to be used up. I think I've got maybe about this much left in it, a little bit less than half. So that'll be my setting spray. Okay, next up for foundation and concealer, the foundation category is gonna be the only one I think where I choose more than two products because I'm so close to using up this foundation that I need to put it in rotation, but I don't want this to count as one of the two. So this is the Thrive Cosmetics CC Cream. I am, like I said, so close to using this up. I keep thinking I'm going to be done with it and then it's just like the never ending product, um, which is good, but I'm kind of tired of it. So I'm excited to move it out of my collection. Um, I really want to pull this one in. This is the Bare Minerals Original Loose Powder Foundation. I have not been using this a lot and I really need to. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that in as well as this foundation brush. This is just what I always use with it. It's the one from Bare Minerals. It's called their Beautiful Finish Brush. So I just want to pick one more foundation and this is going to be a really hard choice because I've just been really into complexion products lately. Okay, I don't think I wanna pull in the Purito one because I want to make sure I use up the Thrive Cosmetics one and I don't feel like I will honestly do that if I pull in the Purito one because I just love it so much. Um, the Koki one is honestly just like so good. I kinda of wanna pull that one in, but then I think, I think I'm gonna hold off on the L'Oreal one because I've been using that one a lot lately. I'm kind of wanting to pull in one of these. So now I just need to pick which one. So I've got it between the Misha BB Cream and the Koki Skin Perfect. I just love the Koki one. I don't know. They're honestly both really, really nice. <laughs> this is where I would usually just say, oh, I'm just going to pull both in, but I really don't want to do that because I honestly do really want to use the Bare Minerals one. Okay, so that being said, I think I'm going to put this one back until maybe next time and pull in the Misha one because I haven't been reaching for this one like every day anymore. I used to use this all the time when I had the last bottle of it, um, but I think that'll be a good mixture so that I'll actually use all of them. So for concealer, I do want to bring in this Rare Beauty Under Eye Brightener. This one is not a concealer. It's supposed to go underneath concealer. So I'm going to pull that one in and it's not going to count as my concealer. Okay, so for actual concealers, um, I want to pull in the Flower Beauty one because it's more cool tone, which goes really well with the Misha one. 
And then I've really been enjoying this one from Huda. So I think I'm just gonna go with the two of these because they're the ones I feel like using right now. So that's gonna be it for this container. Okay, so moving on to face powder. Right now, I don't think I wanna bring in a face palette. This is the one from Sydney Grace. This is what made me think of it, but I've used this all last week. So I kind of want to just, you know, use something else this next week or two, even though that one is brand new to me. <laughs> okay. I think for my pressed powder, I'm going to use this one. This is the CoverGirl Clean Fresh. It's just a nice translucent kind of powder. It doesn't really have a lot of coverage to it, but it's really nice for setting the face. And then I do actually want to bring in this one from Glowish. This is like a nice glowy powder. And I'm gonna see how much I use this in conjunction with the Charlotte Tilbury product and maybe make a note moving forward if I should just choose kind of one or the other for a rotation. But for this time, I'm gonna bring both in. So those are gonna be the only powders that I bring in. I'm kind of considering the Charlotte Tilbury face palette, but I'm gonna hold on to it until I pick the rest of my cheek products. I think I actually want to start with the blush for the cheek products. This is so full. It is honestly just crazy. Um, but I do think I know the two that I want to pull out already. I just want to compare them and see how similar they are. So my friend Diana sent me this blush from Doll 10 and I really have been enjoying it. So I want to pull this one in because it's new. And then I also want to pull in the Patrick Ta Face Duo and She's So LA. Yeah, these are definitely different enough, I feel like. So I want to pull in the two of these. I would say these aren't my go-to shades typically. Like I feel, I feel the need to pull in like a lighter or more natural colored blush. Um, like something like this one in the e.l.f. duo where it's just like nice and light. Um, or even something like this one from Buxom because it's more like cool tone, more my go-to, but I'm going to just stick with the two of these because <laughs> it's already technically three different products since this one's a duo. And I think this is going to be good because it gives me a warm tone duo and then like a more cool tone pink shade. So those are going to be the two that I pull in. And I think that's nice to have one older one and then of course the newer blush. Okay, so that's going to be it for the blush drawer. So jumping back over to bronzer, I'm going to go ahead and take out the bronzer and the highlight drawers because, like I said, I was thinking about using this duo. So this duo is really nice and neutral. It's not too warm tone, but the contour is a little bit more of a contour than a bronzer shade. So keeping that in mind, I want to pick more of a bronzer tone if I want to go with the palette, which I think I do. I'm just not sure because part of me wants to go with a cream product for my other product. So I'm trying to decide which of these I want to go with. I think I'm going to go with the Tarte one and then I don't know. I really want to use this. I can't believe this still smells as good as when I got it because I've had this product since like 2019 or something like it's like four or maybe five years old. I've had it for a while. But I think I'm just going to stick with one powder and one cream option. And then that's also really nice because for the bronzers, um, this one from Tarte is a little bit more warm toned. They look kind of similar, I feel like, here, but they really don't perform the same on the cheeks. And this Tarte one is the cream one in the shade Breezy. I think they're discontinuing this, but I got it around Christmas time. Okay, so that's going to be it for bronzers. So let's pick another highlight. So this highlight in the duo is more of like a neutral sort of, you know, like light golden shade. So I want to go with one of my more pink options. So I think I'll just go with this one from Catrice. This one's in the shade Supreme Rose Beam and it is more of a pink tone. I kind of thought about going for a cream option, but I already have the Charlotte Tilbury one in, so I guess I could technically use that one, even though I typically don't use it as a highlight. Um, I don't know. Part of me, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to switch the Charlotte Tilbury product out for the Burt's Bees one because I've been really wanting to use that lately. Okay, so since I'm switching the highlight liquid products, I'm going to put this Catrice one back. So that way I still have a pink option from the Burt's Bees one and then the more like champagne tone in the Charlotte Tilbury because I really want to stick with what I said about only having two. 
and I don't usually use the Charlotte Tilbury one as a highlight, but since I've switched it, I do use this one as a highlight. So that's gonna count as my second highlight option and also my second primer option. So I'm really excited about this. Like this is just much more manageable, full of options versus my entire collection, which at the moment is like bursting at the seams. I really need to build the vanity I've been talking about because I need some better storage right now. My lip drawer is so overwhelming right now, but we're going to tackle that next. <laughs> um, okay. So for the lips, I definitely want to pull in this one from Maybelline. This is a super stay vinyl ink. It's in the shade cheeky. I've been really liking this. I want to get another color of this, but I'm trying to hold off because I always do that. Like I always buy two shades of a lipstick that I like, but I end up buying a pink color and then getting a more like tan color. And I have that in so many formulas. So I'm really trying to hold off, but I really love this one. I was also chatting with one of you guys in the comment section on one of my videos about how when you like pick up another product of the same line but a different shade it makes you less excited to use the one that you loved so much to begin with so i'm just trying to really enjoy this one instead and i really love this color anyways so i'm gonna pull that one in but let's actually pause and choose eye products and then i can kind of judge the lip products on the palettes we choose okay this is probably not the best angle but i brought you back enough to where you can just see the palettes so i definitely want to pick some neutral palettes i'm just going to kind of pull out a few neutral options. Ooh, I haven't used this one in a really long time. This is the ColourPop Making Mobs palette. I definitely want to choose this one. It's just been so long since I've used it and I would actually really love to hit pan in this shade by Coastal. I feel like the dip is getting pretty large there and then also it's kind of getting big in big moves as well. So that would be really nice. Okay, the Glam and Matrix palette I love, but this is so like glittery and shimmery which i love but for work i tend to go for something a little bit more subtle um which is kind of a bummer honestly maybe i should just like stop doing that um i did use this palette all last week so i kind of want to jump with something else just because i have so many palettes i really want to use them um, i'm gonna actually depot this one so i was kind of considering bringing in my single shades but it's not enough of like a cohesive palette, I don't feel like. So I'm going to hold off on that one. Um, what do I, oh, I did, oh man. I actually was considering bringing this one in. But I don't want to have like just two like pink mauve options. And I really got excited when I saw this ColourPop one because I haven't used it in so long. So this one from Huda might have to wait for next rotation. But I want to keep that one in the back of my mind to use. Okay, so I think I want more of like a neutral, a neutral, neutral option, you know? Um, okay, let me just like pull out the options here. I'm sure I've got a couple more, but I think out of all of these, I can definitely pick one. So I wanna pick one that would give me another bit of variety other than the mauve tones. I really like this one, but it does have several mauve tones. So I'm gonna hold off on that from Natasha Denona. Um, this one's nice and cool tone, but I want some warm options as well, which is probably gonna single this one out too. I don't know, this one does have a couple like warm, warmer options in my mind at least. I haven't used that in a long time either. That one's a maybe. I did get excited when I saw this one in the drawer as well because it's been a while since I've used it. But I'm not sure. I love this one too. Oh my gosh. I gotta pick just one to go with the ColourPop one. I feel like I haven't really used this one a lot lately either. But again, the shimmer shades are a little bit more of like that intense sort of a formula. I'm gonna hold off on that one. So I've kind of got it between the two of these. I just love the shimmer shades in this palette. It's been a while since I've used it. Yeah, okay. I'm going to go with the Hanging in Hawaii palette from BH Cosmetics. Kind of makes me want to pick a third one, but I really just want to kind of use two at a time so that I can use them more. I feel like I just haven't really been 
using my palettes as much as I used to. Okay, so these are gonna be the two palettes that we go with. I feel like this is such a good variety because we've got, of course, the more like purpley mauve tones and then some really nice neutral and warmer tones, but then I've got some pink shades. I can kind of, you know, use them all together too. So I'm really pumped for that combo. I don't think I've ever used the two of these like hand in hand in a shot my stash before. I'm gonna move some of these taller things back here. I rearranged some stuff up top because I felt like it was just blocking the back layers there. So back to lip products. Now that we know we've got warm and cool tone options, definitely still wanna keep in the Maybelline lipstick. Okay, I really wanna actually pull in the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. Do you guys see how close I am to using this up? That would just be so cool because I never finish up a full bullet lipstick even though I kind of don't want to finish it up because I know I'm going to want to repurchase it and they're $35, but I think this is just like my perfect nude lipstick. Okay, so that kind of goes with everything. So let's pick a couple lip liners. I'm going to go with this one from Koki in Warm Nude. It's a good warm option. I'm thinking about pulling in this one from Rimmel. Yeah, I think that would be a nice like cool tone option. Perry, you go crazy. This one is in the shade Rose Addiction from Rimmel. For a lip gloss option, I'm gonna go with this one from Profusion. This one's in the shade Wild. I really like the effect that this one gives and I think I could use it over any type of lip color. For the last lip product, I also wanna bring in this Juicy, Juicy, oh my gosh. For the last lip option, I wanna bring in this one from Profusion. It's the Juicy Lip Tint and this one Oh, they don't have the shades. This is like the pink, I think it was called Pink Sands. I can't remember, but it's the more like pink tone shade. So those are gonna be all the lipsticks. We have two liners, two more like lipstick products, and then two glosses. So hopefully that will be a good combination of everything. I feel like I could use them several different ways. So sticking with the max of two on everything. Okay, I do kind of have my standard eye products here, but I'm gonna take them out and put them in the container because I just kind of want to have it all together, but I might end up putting them back <laughs> in this just because I like them in there. So I want to switch up a couple of these. For the two mascaras, I'm going to have these two in rotation. I'm going to use the LA Colors Biggie Lash. This has become such a favorite. This is a tubing mascara that my friend Diana sent to me. It is so good and it retails for less than $4. I have been really loving that one. So definitely gonna pull that one in. And then also the Maybelline Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara. I've got this in the True Brown shade and it's just a little bit more of like a natural option. So those are gonna be the two mascaras. For eyeliner, I'm gonna bring in these two. This is the NYX Epic Wear in the shade Berry Goth. I feel like this will be really pretty with the um, ColourPop Making Mobs palette. And then I also want to bring in this one from Profusion. This is their Duochrome Gel Liner in the shade NFT. These are so cool. They're just Duochrome pencil liners. And I feel like that could be a lot of fun for just kind of a different eyeliner look without being like super dramatic for during the week. I just like more simple makeup during the week because I'm getting ready kind of quickly in the morning and I'm also wearing that to my nine to five job. So just think it will... I think it just is a little bit more like appropriate for what I'm going for. And then I'm actually gonna pull these two in as well. These are the Wet n Wild Multi Sticks. I've got one in the shade Nudie Culture and the other one in Champagne Room. These I was mentioning in a video where I talked about how much money I've spent on makeup so far this year. And it made me realize that it's been a really long time since I've used these. So I'm hoping I can use those some more. And then I wanna bring in this e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. I really want to use this up. I don't have a ton of it left, so I would really like to try and use it up, especially on like the outer portions of my brow, brows. So I'm also gonna bring in the NYX Lift and Snatch. This one works better in the front part of my brow, but I'm gonna try and remember to use the e.l.f. one. And then I always bring in the e.l.f. Wow Brow and the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Also gonna bring in the NYX Glitter Glue. I'm almost out of this one. I'm very close to using this one up. For eye primer, I actually think I'm gonna bring in the CoverGirl Lid Lock Up and give the About Face one a break because I've been using that one nonstop lately. So 
that's going to be it for the extra eye products. From the lip drawer, I'm actually going to pull in this one from Kopari. It's the Lip Glossy and Watermelon, but I use this as kind of a lip balm. I want to put it up top to remind myself to use it as I'm getting ready before I put on a colored lip product. And then for this rotation, I've actually decided to pick out a few single brushes as well because I usually just kind of sift through my entire collection, but I've been feeling like I have way too many makeup brushes lately. So I've just kind of pared them down to ones that I like for each different category. So I have kind of two different bronzer options, one for cream and one for powder. Same for blush and powder, um, or blush, and then I've got two different powder options because one I use all over the face and one just under the eyes, and then a few different eye brush options. So I'm gonna try that out. I'm gonna actually wash these brushes tonight so that they're ready to use for you know, however long I want to use this rotation for, probably a couple of weeks, but I feel like that will just be an easier way to sift through my brushes and just kind of use like one set at a time and see if I can get rid of any. But that's going to be it for the Shop My Stash rotation. This is just kind of a fun one starting out spring. I'm excited to use the Making Mobs palette because it used to be one of my most used palettes, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!